Uh, okay. All right. We have a college football playoff. Let's do it. Let's that was fun. Let's do it. Let's. Huh. <laughs> you ready? I gotta crack yeah. the knuckles. Crack I, the I have a feeling there's just a lot of diarrhea that's about to come out of your mouth. I, Why? I, I, I don't know. I just I feel like you and I are going to disagree, and well, we can to, disagree all you want. I that's I fine. have to stretch here to get ready for this. So, um, go ahead, say what you want to say. The committee got it right. This was a <laughs> this was a difficult decision. There were five teams for four spots. Okay, very difficult decision, but ultimately. In taking Michigan, Washington, Texas, and Alabama, what the committee said was, we are choosing to protect the college football playoff instead of protect the college football regular season. Because you can sit there and say, when Florida State gets left out, oh, I guess the games don't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. They went 13-0. and Well, you're lying. You're being disingenuous is what you're doing. What you're saying is, this team went 13-0, and end of sentence, nothing else matters. But context matters. Other things matter. In the bylaws are, is an injury clause. So this team that has 13 and 0 beside this team right now, this Florida State team is not 13 and 0. This team is 2 and 0 with two ugly victories against Florida and Louisville. Dylan Gabriel, not Dylan Gabriel, he transferred. We'll talk about him later. What's his name? Jordan Travis. Travis. Got hurt 2 yes. weeks ago. Yes. If he were not hurt, Florida State is in no problem, but he is hurt. And that team without him could not score. They were terrible. And Which if know, you put them in, if you put them in the playoff, if you put them in the playoff, you give the number one seed a buy. Yeah, and scoring the football is the only. There's only one side of the football in football. So never mind that Florida State's defense looked fucking awesome. We watched them right. against a garbage Florida team last week. They could right. not move the ball. We right. watched them against a uh, right. Louisville defense that's average. They could not move the Which ball, is, and they're going to move the ball against. You have to be able to Michigan, you, uh, Michigan, and Al, Michigan, Alabama, LSU national championship. Was a defensive slugfest? That was twelve years ago. Okay, so that that was that twelve years count. ago. So what what window counts? That also those offenses against other teams were decent. It's just against each other that they were not. Michigan has one of the best offenses in the country. One of the best. Well, they have an efficient offense, not one of the best offenses in the country, but they have one of the best defenses in the country. You're going to go up against these teams. It just wasn't going to happen. How do you know that? For two good playoff games, for for a competitive balance, you had to put these four teams in. These no. are the best. No. These aren't the best four teams. These you, are the best. You were four about teams. about to say these are the best four teams. They're these not. are the best right They're now. Not. Right They're now, not. the best four teams. You can't say that with straight face. Right? Yeah, I absolutely so, can say you it. You think Washington's better than Georgia? You think Washington? Georgia, than Ohio I, Georgia, State? I. Think, hold on. Can I explain the Georgia thing? To me, Ohio State and Georgia are in the same boat. They're probably a little bit better than Washington. Both of well, them. Well, so if you're doing the best teams, do the best teams. Why? Fine. Why be a coward? You're gonna let me answer it. <laughs> Georgia and Washington probably. Georgia and Ohio State are probably better than Washington. Sure. Georgia and Ohio State also just had playoff games. If Georgia wins that game, they're in no problem. If Ohio State wins that game last week, they're in no problem. They just had their chance. They basically but played in playoff games. That wasn't a playoff game, though. You know how I know? Because it wasn't a playoff game. It, it was literally a play-in play game. game. It was a play-in no, game. No, it was a game against – it was a regular season game. You just you Georgia's just, number you one. Just, they go to the SEC championship game. They lose the one game that's going to get You them just in. at the top said that there's a difference between the regular season and the college football playoff. So if Ohio State loses to Michigan, why is that suddenly a playoff game? It's not. That was a regular season game. I'm, for the record, I don't think Ohio State belongs in. But if you're going to tell me, Florida if you're going to tell me that the best team in the country, it doesn't matter. They won. They, it very much matters, and we're we're lying if we say it doesn't. The, the, That's what the committee did. That's what the committee it did. Literally, could not matter less. It is antithetical to sports. What do you mean it doesn't matter less? They, they, they just saw it. We just saw it. We went 13 and 0, Brandon, in a power conference. It's literally their antithetical current team to sports. did not go 13. And point 0. to one other sport, Little League. Uh, Kenyon professional Martin. league. Kenyon Martin. Literally any other time Kenyon in the history Martin. of sports where Kenyon an undefeated Martin. team has not had a chance to play for a championship. Kenyon Martin, they were going to be any the other number sport. one seed. They were going to be the number one seed. Cincinnati was undefeated. He yes. got hurt. They, 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 what happened? They what, happened the they what happened in the Conference USA tournament? What happened in the Conference USA tournament? got hurt. They lost. They lost. They lost. Florida State did not lose. Cincinnati lost. They proved that they were not the same team. Florida State continued to win, which last time I checked – Winning football games is the whole point of playing the football games. It is not like you can certainly disagree with the committee, but to say it doesn't matter, the committee matter. just said it mattered. The committee just got together and they said the whole world it matters. That's what they just. Said. And I'm saying the committee's fucking stupid. Okay. Like, I'm, I, what, what, <laughs> what do you want me to? You do you really? Believe? Like I, I'm saying I'm saying Did the you, system is fucking broken. You watch, you watch is, Florida State Louisville, right? Yeah. Do you want to lie to Florida State fans and say they had a chance in the playoff? It doesn't matter, Brandon. That's Why does it matter? Because it's sports. That's the whole point of sports is you play the game, the winners move on, the losers go home. Florida State won every game. That is antithetical to sports. You, don't, you can't play sports, win every fucking game you play, and then be told you don't have a chance at winning a championship. That, that, that defies every ounce of logic in sports. There's not a single sport on this planet 
at any level that includes third grade. You can't find me a third grade fucking little league anywhere on on the planet. There's nowhere on the planet where you go undefeated and you don't get a chance at, at playing. But for within this very title, sport, except college football, within this That's ver- the only sport, within this, this very happens. sport, we've had other. Nobody's up in arms about Liberty today. Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, it's for yeah. a different reason. Yeah, for I a am. different reason. <laughs> for a different reason. I, I actually, for the record, when this happened to UCF and they and everyone was clowning them for claiming they were national champions, I didn't have a problem with that. I, if you go undefeated, like that's that's fucking bananas that there's a system where you go undefeated. And yeah, you, UCF probably would have got steamrolled. Florida State probably would, but you said the same about TCU going in the playoff last year, and they won. Michigan and everyone points to everyone points to TCU losing to Georgia, but like that's fucking sports, dude. Like that, this is the only sport where this happens, where everyone wants to. It is. You're it, right about that. This is the only sport. That succeeds in spite of itself. Correct. So why why sport, why does college football think that they're special and they get to be different from no, every other sport? This that, is this a is a beauty pageant. This is a broken system and it's been broken forever. We got away with it for ten years, pretty much outside of that first year where Ohio State, TCU, and Baylor all had a nod, and then Ohio State kind of saved that by winning the national title. Um, but it's we've gotten away with a broken system for a long, all long, 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 long time. This has never happened. This is this is unprecedented, and that's one of my frustrations is that people pretend like it's been this way forever, and that it's been a messy process in college football forever. It is not. This is the first time college football has been fucked forever. College football has not been fucked to this degree ever. It is never, think- there's never been a time where a team with a loss has jumped a, an undefeated power conference team. And any if you're undefeated in a power conference, you have a chance to play for a title. And that includes 04 and Auburn. Yeah. Auburn went undefeated. They still won a national championship. They still got theirs. No, they, they st- didn't. They didn't? No. Didn't they win the AP national championship? No. They didn't get anything. No. They didn't claim a national championship. No. Are you joking? Auburn wasn't national champions? You're joking, right? I remember Auburn being like, we're the national You're champions. You're thinking the USC from the year before. Auburn wasn't national champions? No. Well, Auburn's national champion in my mind. <laughs> I thought they were national champions. People, really uh, to they me, weren't undefeated there. I was like, I guess we got two national champions. That's to, how I remember. To me, when somebody gets on a soapbox and says, they were 13-0 and and they got to be in regardless, no matter what, and, and that's just sports, I think you're being disingenuous. I, I really do. Not you, but general speaking. I think oh. people are being disingenuous when they say that because – Context matters. We know why they're left out. We know why they're left out because their their team fundamentally changed two weeks ago. That's that's I I I, I could not disagree more. And if that's, the committee that's the exact that's like it, I then why play the that's not disingenuous. Why play the game? The committee got in that room and were and they decided amongst themselves. Now in this in this scenario, should they have put Georgia in? Maybe I don't know. But they decided amongst themselves. We're going to decide who the best four teams are today, and Florida State did not make that cut for them. Now, in that scenario, could Georgia make the cut? Sure, but they chose the four teams they chose based on that criteria. That's it's insane. It's actually insane. And Auburn, by the way, in 04, there there were two other undefeated teams ahead of them. It was right? Oklahoma, it USC, yeah, and they were both undefeated. Yeah, it was a bad system. So it then. wasn't it wasn't Auburn didn't get jumped by one loss team. They got they they were just the, so they, this has never happened. What what we're seeing has never happened. There's never been a, a, a situation where a team's undefeated and a team that's not undefeated jumps over them. I'm sure there was a time it. back in the 40s, 50s, or 60s where somebody went nine and zero in a, in a weaker conference, and then Alabama went nine and two and claimed the national. Greed title. has run rampant in college sports forever, but we've never we've never been in a situation where the TV networks are in the driver's seat to this extent. This has never been the case. This is it's always been like the TV networks have been. There's been a kumbaya like symbiotic thing where like the conferences and the tv networks both have like equal power and they talk to each other and whatever but now it's like the tv networks run everything you know for people it's, to for people to say oh all of a sudden it's just we're going off hypothetical results now we're just picking this way what the fuck do y'all think a committee was supposed to do whenever we have a committee this was always bound to happen at some point where a committee chose you're so- such a dude this is so disappointing why is this disappointing? I know Tommy Walker's an Alabama fan, and you love your son. We lo- we all love your son. We all love Tommy. We love him on the show, and I want Tommy to be happy. This has nothing to do with Can Bama. I tell you exactly? This has nothing to do with Bama. It has nothing to do with FSU. This has to do with just like – like my mindset is just like literally how sports should work is you win, you keep playing for a championship. That's like – I don't understand how – like like it's a, it's an open and shut deal. I don't care if Florida State – I don't care if their whole fucking offensive line – broke their leg and every if, if they were playing all second stringers and they kept winning games i think you get to continue to to have an opportunity to win games that's sports this is the only sport where it's that's not the case i it's insane when i watched that acc title game i was hoping the committee would do anything to save us from a repeat of that in the playoffs that was garbage football it was okay. terrible to watch i understand but that's a different conversation because no, i that's the conversation i've been having the whole time no it's oh my god I, I agree with you that bama versus michigan will probably be a more competitive game and that's why they did it 
But it doesn't matter. That's not how sports work. Hey, you can say That's it doesn't not matter. How sport- you can say it doesn't matter, but it does matter. It has mattered, and this this is what the committee which is, chose. Which is why I think you're, you're the the facade has complete. The mask is completely off. The facade is completely broken at this point. Like it like to, it spits in the fi- like the whole whatever part of college sports have always been this way, they've always done a good job of muddying the waters and rationalizing it and saying, yeah, you know, boy, we did find a way to sneak Ohio State into these playoffs. But when you look at this and this and this, and then, you know, everyone would argue, but then at the end of the day, it's like, I guess there kind of is an argument there. Um, they, they, it's completely fully the, – the, the facade is gone now. It's gone. It's well, the facade never should have lasted this long. Here's the thing. It's gone now. 40 or 50 years ago – Somebody in college football should have had the nuts to stand up and say, this system is stupid. Whether it was when they had bowl games and they arbitrarily chose a champion, or then the BCS, or then the four-team playoff. Somebody should have stood up and said, we actually need to play and have a champion. If they had done that 40 years ago, 50 years ago, 30 years ago, we wouldn't be in this situation. But they kept inching towards progress. They inched, they did the bowl, and then they did the bowl alliance. And then they did the BCS. And then they did the four-team playoff. And now we're going to the 12-team playoff. If they have done this earlier, we wouldn't be in this situation because we lived somehow for 10 years with a bad broken system sure. and it finally fucked us not florida state got fucked i am saying that florida state got fucked but somebody was getting fucked yesterday and they chose the one that was wounded but what what you're saying is that because I, I i i there's two separate things of like what would be more fun to watch versus what is deserving and in the committee saying we are going to choose what is best for television ratings i don't think it it's does, just fun to watch it either. does completely it, it 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 at that point there is no argument for like any of the shit mattering anymore. It, it like it's not just if fun to watch. If you are someone that's like college football forever changed yesterday, I don't think you're being extreme. I don't think that's a that's a that's hyperbole. I don't think that's it was hyperbole changing good. anyway. It was changing anyway because we're going to a twelve team playoff. This was the last time that we're. Gonna I don't have think this, this is the last time. I think this is a precursor to what I mean, we have. Twelve and thirteen is a lot less uh, less stakes of a discussion. But it's not about the, it's because it's this is going to happen again with seeding and it's going to have like it's like you, you're you're. You're basically just openly saying, like, we don't give a fuck what happens throughout the season because at the end of the day, we're just going to do what we want to do anyway. We're just going to go off vibes. I, it's insane. At what point has this committee or this sport ever told you it was any different than that? It's been like that for years. This sport has, it has been not like that been like that. Yes, when it has. has it ever been like that before? When have a team ever gone undefeated in a power? That's what I'm saying. This has literally never this, happened. No, no, no. This I was There's just never ever broad, in the history was, of. If it's, it's, I was it's speaking insane. in a broader sense yeah. right there. This the the committee and and college football playoff that or college football decision makers have made their own decisions many right. many times. And Maybe they, not this exact decision. And they've always like I, I've used this analogy a million times, but like it's there's a difference between putting your thumb on the scale. And, and saying, like, we're going to nudge this here and, and pump the and, and then just fucking, like, rewiring the scale to say whatever you want. There's, that's, like, a completely different thing. And that's what college football has become. And that's fine. And you could say, like, I know that it's going to do monster ratings. Then everyone's going to point and be like, well, college football's never been more popular. So I guess these people are right. But this is we are living in a time where this is un, all unprecedented. And the people that try to pretend like this is all, this is how college football has worked for 100 years, that is not true. We have not had fucking West Coast schools in the Atlantic Coast Conference like we're going to have. We have not had television networks dictating everything about the sport before like we currently have. We have not had power conference teams who are undefeated get shut out from a chance at winning a national title. All of this is unprecedented. So if you're someone who woke up or not even woke up, you're just like watching on Sunday and you see Bama jump Florida State and you're like, you know what, fuck this sport forever. I don't blame you. I'm not like that because my alma mater – is going to be in the mix. So I'm I'm a dumb son of a bitch that's going to get roped back in over and over again. I, but I don't blame people if they're like, this is horseshit, dude. What even is this sport anymore? I don't think it's just watchability. I don't think it's just TV ratings that they were trying to protect here. I think – I truly believe – if you put Florida State in, Michigan would have had the number one seed would have had a massive competitive advantage over sure, the two so, and three seed. And, and and to me, competitive advantage is also a thing that they probably had to consider. If you give Michigan that bye week in in, and I know it's hypothetical, I know that, but the committee was put together to work through these hypotheticals. Then why is Washington in? I mean that seriously. Why Georgia, Washington has a hell of a resume, man. Washington, they beat Oregon twice. The well, Washington has a hell of a resume. Well, Florida State for has, one. Florida State does not have a Florida State have the number fifty five schedule in America. Florida what? State's best win. Florida State's best win. Yep. Their very best yep. win is yep. Alabama's third best win. Okay. Like like they're, what, they're, what about what about Florida State's best loss versus Alabama's best loss? Do that. They one. don't have a loss, but okay. if they play, you you're telling me if they play Texas, we wouldn't be we'd be sitting here today and having the same discussion. How do you know that? I That's don't. All sports work. That's why we have a committee. They went on the committee. They went on the committee. They beat every team they played. 
They played them all. They beat them all. Yep. They didn't lose they to anybody. Look, they look very <laughs> impressive beating Louisville. Alabama lost to a team that's already in the play. That's what. Yeah, they lost to a playoff team. Okay, so if Michigan, <laughs> Ohio State was a playoff game. Why wasn't Texas Bama? Why don't you look at Bama and say, listen, man, great year. You guys got hot at the end of the year, but we got to say you had your chance against Texas at home and you blew it, and that's the way it works. Why do the regular? Why did? Why does Ohio State, Michigan count as a playoff game, but Bama, Texas didn't? The loss category for Alabama and Florida State is a massive, massive advantage that's- to Florida State. The win category is a massive advantage to Alabama. The in, the health category is that's the deciding factor. Oh my god, this is fucking insane. This is insane. I didn't do it. This is it's, the fact that you think that this isn't like a fundamental flaw in in. Of course, it's flawed. Hold on. When did I say it wasn't flawed? Somebody was getting fucked yesterday. Then why aren't you upset? Then why are you like you're you're such a dude? The glazing of the committee. I've said that. <laughs> I've said the this. The glazing whole, of the co- like how many times were, do were I? Were you outside playing? of the offices after they made their decision? Were you clapping and be like, "Good job, boys"? <laughs> 